Hello and welcome to yet another one of my videos in my Grifter cleanup collection. Today I shall be looking at the brake calipers, which as you can tell have already been taken apart, put into pots. This happens to be the rear one. As you can see it needs uh, a good clean along with the relevant bits and pieces also in the pot. And in this pot I have the front one which probably not quite as bad but we still need doing that half is probably the worst half so but this time I'm going to try an experiment because when I've done the levers the vinegar worked well I'm going to soak the rear in some vinegar Now, this is the control because this should work really well. It takes a little bit more this time to cover it all. Might need a new bottle of that. That's the rear. The rear is in vinegar. The front, <coughs> I'm going to use a can of Coca Cola. There are other brands of cola available, obviously. I've heard that the full sugar is the one to go for. So let's pour this on. Okay, I just want to get it covered. Now, as I'm pouring it on, I don't know if you can quite see that. But I'm not too sure if that's actually washing rust and stuff away or whether it's just the way it's fizzing on contact but either way these two tubs I thought that was a whole tin just to cover that these two tubs are going to get 48 hours because I have no time tomorrow to, to make it 24 so that's just 48 now in the meantime, I haven't mentioned brake locks. I decided it was probably worth leaving them out, A because of the rubber parts and B because this one is in the best condition. That's the other side of the front and there's one of the rear, as you can see rather worn down and the other one now those are going to, just going to get thrown away and replaced some things you just can't clean you do need to replace okay thank you for watching we'll come back in a couple of days and we'll see how they're doing again here we are 48 days later um, rather conveniently I've marked these two tubs with the words front and rear on so we know which is which so if I move the rear out of the way for the moment no in fact I'm going to start with the rear because the rear the rear was the one using vinegar and we know that's going to work so we just pick up a piece this is you can see where it's worked you can see it's lifting a lot of chrome off but then that's how deep the rust has gone a good rub down make that look a lot nicer that's the one half so other half again hopefully you can see that that's just rubbing off whole lot's going to need a bit of a rub down a little blob of sift which I shall do in just a moment in fact now I'm going to strain the rest out give the dish a little rinse
back to look at it and you can see that quite honestly even the, the pinch bolt has come up quite well and the adjust oh look the adjuster's broken never mind I'll have to get a new one of those but even the main bolt that holds it all together has come up rather clean so I'm just going to a bit of a rub down a bit later and I'll come back and show you how they fare after a rub down with a good old sieve now let's have a look at the front this is the one done in cola I'm going to take a piece out oh dear me it doesn't look very good it's not There's not a lot coming off of there. I know this was the uh, the grimier one, but there's not a lot coming off there. I'll rub that down with some sieve and see what happens with that. I'm not holding up too much hope on that at the minute. Let's look at this other half. No, not quite as good. So all you Coke fans, there must be another way of doing it rather than soaking it. I would suggest vinegar is the way forward. So what I'm going to do is just strain this lot. Give the part a dish of rinse out. cover it up in vinegar. Take the easy option, the vinegar works. The coke hasn't in this instance for me. If you've had better results with coke, perhaps you could post a reply video showing me how, what I've done wrong. There must be a way, because I know people swear by it. Okay, let's put the lid on. That can go away for another 24 hours. Uh, I'll just give this rear caliper a good rub down and then we're we'll back to see the results of that one. So here we go after a, a good rub down with the old sif, which I've washed off as well. They do seem to be gleamier unfortunately I think that's really is past its best but considering the bike it's come off of the same one it's going to go back onto it will do nicely all in all the only disappointment is that adjuster bolt thingy barrel um, the only casualty is just disintegrated. So that's it's going to need replacing. Everything else has come up. Even the spring has come up quite like new. So that'll be put away ready for polishing at a later date. I will be back tomorrow after I've looked at the front caliper just so we can see if the vinegar after the coke has made a difference and finally here we are after 48 hours in coca cola and 24 hours in vinegar the front brake calipers 
let's just have a little peek and although it's still a bit yeah a bit of effort with the uh, sift that's going to uh, look a different set of making to what the coat did yesterday so a little bit of effort let's just strain these off right so what do we have we have this half which does look a bit grubby but that should a bit of rubbing yep that should this do a good rub that's just coming off and as for these other bits and pieces I mean look at that hopefully you can see that looking quite nice So basically I'm going now going to give these a good rub down with a drop of sif and dry them off a bit and we'll see what they look like in just a few moments. And after a good um, rub down and the rinse off, as you can see these parts this one not exactly brilliant but you know as I've said before for the bike it's going on <coughs> like it came off the front and which it's going back onto it's perfectly adequate and they will obviously look a lot better once I've had a bit of polish on them before I rebuild uh, even the spring bit there is cleaned up nicely so I think that experiment tells me one thing and that is the vinegar works the coat doesn't unless of course you know any different please feel happy to uh, add a video of you using coke and it came up to good examples didn't work for me though so I'm going to use the vinegar from now on okay that's it for now keep a look out for some other videos coming along shortly thanks very much for watching goodbye